Hi, I'm Paul from Bellowex, and I'm going to talk about living with a Brompton for eight years. So for those of you that have seen my other videos, there's quite a few videos about Bromptons and specifically my Brompton P6R. So I brought the P6R in 2015. P is for the P bars that are a bit controversial. The 6 is for the 6 gears and the R is for the rack. Before this video starts, I would like to say that I don't use the Brompton heavily for commuting. I have done in the past, it's been really good. But I do know from chatting to people that if you use the Brompton loads for commuting, especially in really harsh conditions, like country lanes and stuff, they can suffer a little bit. So this is my take on eight years of living with my Brompton using it for leisure and using it for light commuting say three days a week so it's not had that heavy use so i will say that because i do know some people rag their bikes five days a week never clean them through winter and the brompton does suffer a bit so this is my take on my p6r i would like to say that brompton has changed my life it sounds a bit silly doesn't it really that something material or something like this that other people think is silly can change your life but I think to those of you that love Bromptons a real Bromptoneers you know what they can mean to you and I think it's just the versatility of them they are probably out and out the most versatile bikes because of where they can go what they can do yes there are limits to them but then they make up for that in other ways you know I can go touring with my bike I can then fold it up and take it on a coach on a train with no issues and it's just a great bike. I've flown with it, which has been really nice, and I hope to do that again with our new Vincetta bags that we have. Uh, we'll do a separate video about that. But generally, it's just fun. I'm always smiling when I'm on the bike. I'm really glad that I went for the P6R. I love the rack. It just it's there if ever I need it, and it's a really good solid base for folding the bike. I love the gold welds. For me, the appeal for, of them is aesthetics as much as anything. So when I took this to Berlin, I just cycled around and went to cafes, folded it just so it was right by me and just looked at the welds all the time. It's silly, but that's what I like about bikes. So I'm really happy that I did go for that. Not having a hard powder coat finish, if when you do get on and off the Brompton, you can kick it, which can mark it. So this one's definitely fared up better because I would say it almost looks new. The only thing with the paintwork is sometimes little bits of rust come through so you get a bit of a patina. But generally it's just a really good fun bike. Types of things I do with it these days, I, like I said, I go touring. It's really good loaded touring bike. Um, good for say up to 30, 35 miles. You do feel it. If you're going to do 35 miles on this, I feel it more than my touring bike. But it is a really good loaded touring bike i go and meet family to say i ride one way i might fold the bike up put it in their boot and then they bring me back or bring back halfway so it's quite good uh, just the versatility again that's what i go back to i would anyone that i've known that has them either goes one way with them they either love them and just keep them and it's their only bike or it's like a really good part of their life so good part of their bike collection or people go the other way and just think it's the most hateful thing ever I myself, and if you watch our YouTube channel, know that I absolutely love the bike. So I'd certainly recommend it. In eight years, it's a really good, I've had a lot of fun with it, and it's a really good addition to all my other bikes. It's very easy to manoeuvre, so that's another thing coming in and out of the house into tight gaps. It's very easy to manoeuvre. Locking-wise, I hardly ever lock it up. If I'm worried about it, I'll just take it in with me. If it's to a supermarket or somewhere I need to go, people don't really say anything about it because once it's folded, it's just an object. This one here has the dynamo, the light. It's probably the on the heavier end, so I think it's about 13 kilograms. You don't really notice it when you're cycling it, but lifting it, you do. But then if I'm going to go anywhere, having to carry it for a little bit of time, I'll just unfold it and wheel it. I just absolutely love the bike. What else do I have to say about it? For servicing wise, I give the bike a Brompton service, what I class as a Brompton service, once a year. So a strip down and re-grease and oil and every all oil, 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 oil all of the components, clean it up and do all the hinge points and the um, clamps, make sure they've all got grease on them. I will never let my Brompton sit with muck on it because it is steel. I wouldn't say it's a hugely elegant steel, but it's, it's fine. 
but it will rust and they are known especially the old ones to rust i do believe they come with more of a coating on them and this one's really not suffered only by the mudguards bridge um, or the seat stay the chain stay bridge sorry has suffered but i got on top of that quite quick and that's documented on our other videos but definitely i wouldn't let it sit with muck on it and i think that's where maybe people suffer with their bromptons if they just let muck sit on it and they're just commuting five days a week which you can understand because people don't have loads of time to clean it all the time thankfully with this one the amount i use it i can give it a nice clean after a really dirty ride i don't mind getting it dirty but i certainly wouldn't leave it with um, rubbish on it and that's all i do with it really make sure the tires are pumped up i do like them to be nice and loads of pressure in them so nice and hard and generally they will look after themselves the rear hub i've got on here the bwr free speed never had to do anything with it and um, it's brilliant uh, i don't know how many miles i've done this is my second set of wheels i've had on the bike and they probably need replacing at some point this year so that I guess that shows you that i've done quite a few miles on it so my theory is in an ideal world when people get fully grown so say 18 ish they should go out and buy a really good quality bike say brompton let's think about temple cycles a really good like kind of aluminium trek something that really fits them ideally if they don't ever get it stolen they could have that bike for the rest of their lives but instead because of kind of the disposable nature of our lives say a student will go out and buy a hundred pound bike oh, rubbish and i've seen this from working in the bike industry right i'll get the next bike and the next bike and actually over a lifetime you probably end up spending way more than just buying one really good quality bike and if i take the temple cycles lightweight for example it's a very steel bike nine gears really versatile bike you could take it light touring you could you know you could go so many different places with it similar to the brompton if you just bought one of those with the right measurements that's it less waste less faff having to go to you know get these cheap bikes less going to landfill and i think the brompton fits that really well and it goes about what i'm saying about buying the kind of cheaper bike so if you've got a 300 pound bike versus a 1600 pound bike there is a difference and there's a difference for a reason so i reckon in an ideal world if everyone on their 18th birthday got a bike suited for them then there'd be a lot less rubbish going to landfill and there'd be a lot less rubbish bikes produced so i've loved living with my brompton for eight years i hope i've been able to get across my love for it uh, if i haven't in this video watch some of our other videos uh, it's eight years old and it just is such a nice addition to have in my life i'm really pleased that i bought it i'm really pleased i spent the extra money on the finish that i got because it was kind of one of the higher end models back in the day and i know that it will give me another 20 years of service and i've got so many exciting plans for it if you're thinking about buying a brompton i would recommend it you know if, if there's an element where of your life where you can't store a bike you live in a flat or you commute lots or even you just want one bike that ticks a range of boxes the brompton is the one so thanks for watching um, please subscribe and watch our other videos for more brompton silliness